Merry Christmas and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making Christmas themed DIY gifts for your pen pals. We're going to be using the Paper Lovers book. I love this Christmas edition. Um, we're also going to be making some watercolour um, little Christmas cards, some tags. We're going to be making a few little postcards and some Christmas ornaments. So let's jump right into the video and let's get started. today is I'm going to make really cute adorable Christmas cards and I want them to all be very cutesy. I'm going to make a reindeer, a Christmas tree and a gingerbread man. I want them all to have really big eyes and really cute smiles and I'm going to put little freckles on each one of them. So I start off just by drawing a really rough sketch and it doesn't matter how crappy this looks because you're going to rub it out anyway. You just kind of want to see what proportions you're going to put on paper so when you go over it with a darker marker you'll have a rough idea what you're doing so you don't make mistakes when you do the permanent marker on top. So once you've got this really nice dark outline then you can go and watercolour on top. Um, I just love the effect of watercolour and I thought this turned out really cute. So once you complete the watercolouring side of it and you let them dry, then you can go and stick them down on some beautiful paper, fold them in half and you've got some cards. create two little postcards and 
These are already postcards, but they're just little advertising postcards. Um, I'm pretty sure I found them for free somewhere in the city. They're usually on little stands somewhere, and it's just a place where people can advertise. So I got them and I brought them home because I knew I would definitely um, reuse these and create my own little postcards on top. So I wanted to cover the little advertising logo in the center, so I got some really cute images out of the Kiki K Paper Lovers book. Most of my material will come from this book if you're wondering. So I've covered the little advertising along the bottom just with some silver washi tape because I didn't want it to be bold or make a statement, I just want it to nicely just cover it up. And then I've just put some little Kiki K pictures on top of the little logo on top. And at the back, unfortunately, it wasn't a plain um, postcard on the back. I had to cover up the address as well. So I've just got some colourful printed paper from the Kiki K Paper Lovers book. And then I've just put their little tags on top to make it look very pretty. So that's all I did. And I think if you guys find some little free advertising postcards around, definitely collect them and reuse them because they're great if you're going to make little postcards because they're already pre-made. Next, we're going to make three little tags and I found this little hole punch that was given to me from a lovely friend and it kind of reminded me of snow so I wanted to put them on the little end of the tags just to make a little bit of a decoration. And I didn't want to just collage on top of the tags so I searched through the Kiki K Paper Lovers book and I found these beautiful little gold leaves. And I was going to create a little collage around the decoration, but then I thought that they kind of remind me of reindeer ears. So instead, I glued them on and I drew little reindeers around the end of the tag where the hole is. And that's what my reindeer nose was. So I thought it was super cute and it's a great idea. I'm not that great of a drawer when it comes to reindeers, so they were a little bit quirky these little reindeers a little bit weird but you got the point and I thought they would just be really cute to wrap something up with so they don't have to be perfect mine are definitely not close whatsoever but they, they look very cute I thought So the next thing I was going to make was some little paper ornaments, but instead I decided to decorate some envelopes with my Kiki K Paper Lovers book, just because I really loved their prints in the book and I thought it'd be really cute just to put a tiny strip of washi tape and then put a little picture on top of each one. So that's what I did and they turned out very adorable. Thank you so much for watching. I am so happy with all the little goodies I created today. Um, and I have lots more Christmas coming your way. So stay tuned. I'm going to be taking you a bit of Christmas um, exploring throughout Sydney. And I'm also taking you back home for Christmas when I head up to Lennox Head for the holidays. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye.